Hey campers, Georgia, back in the man cave. Yeah, having a look at some new stuff I got. Well, if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I got me some Zippo stuff. And I started looking more into Zippo to see what they have, which is never a good thing for me. Because you know what? They have something I didn't know about. And it's in here. Let's check it out. So what I'm talking about here is Zippo, as you know, had, when they first came out, the, the original Zippo used Zippo lighter fuel system. And they worked great. They were wind resistant. It had the uh, good old snap on it. You know the whole story, right? The whole reason we all go for these things. And they worked well and they've been around for, well since dirt. They, they did well. What surprised me was finding out they use butane on their newer models. And I thought, huh, that's interesting that they would go away from that, from, you know, the regular gas. And I started reading comments and what people were saying about the original. And the number one complaint was that on the original, you would fill it with your fuel and you would use it and then put it aside and wouldn't use it for a day or two. Come back to use it and the fuel was gone. It had evaporated, leaked out, whatever. And that was the number one complaint. And that's why I think they looked at this. But butane. So as you know, I got the uh, the double, double flame butane one because I wanted to see how that worked. And to be honest, I thought, well, you know, that's cool. And, you know, it looks nice and a little snap goes with it. All very cool. But I was like, <laughs> you know what? It's just another butane lighter. I might as well just go and get me a Bic. And then I found this guy. Wait a minute. You say that's just a lighter. Well, not really. So what I'm going to show you is what they did and how they evolved to this. Pretty interesting. And i got to say, I like this. So let's have a look see. Let me get organized here. Okay, in the in the box here, the cool zipper boxes, I have this guy, right here. The original. The one that uses just the regular zipper fuel. And you know what? They work. Uh they work pretty good. You know, they they light up and you know can take a lot of wind blowing. <laughs> And they work fine. And it has the wheel and the flint and then, of course, your fuel. Well, to turn it off, you have to close it. Yeah, you got to close it. Or you got to give it a good hard blow. Like that, to get the flame out. But you would flick it over to close it, right? I'll put it in there, show you what I mean. Put that down because you've got to have the clicky. So now I have that in the case. Fire it up and there it is. They work great. They are pretty wind resistant. Obviously in a gale, heh, nothing stays alight. Not even a beck. To turn it off, you would... And then it was off. You can see the flame is out. Works great. Then everyone complained about the fuel issue. Well, so Zippo looked at some other stuff. And you have people that, you know, smoke cigars, pipes, not just cigarettes. That's a little different to light up. And people were looking at those butane. Ronson lighters, butane. Everybody was using a Ronson. So Zippo said, how about we have us a Ronson? Well, Ronson style. And the main difference is, if you look at it, there's no wheel. There's no flint. It uses a piezo lighter. Now, this one has the dual flame on it. You saw that last time. It still has the good old zipper look to it. I mean, it looks just like a regular zipper if you're not looking carefully. Now, when you look at them, there's a wheel and a piezo lighter. Ah, okay. People still like the traditional. 
hey, I'm, I'm very traditional to a point. If it works, hey, I'm in for it. If it doesn't, do it all the time and they have a better option, I'm going to go with that. It's just human nature. That's the way we are. So they came out with this, the Pizio Lighter. Look at that. That's quite a flame. If you're a cigar smoker, that's what you want. I assume a, a pipe, this would be better, but they use matches for that. And you've still got that traditional flippity do, right? Everybody likes that. That's what Zippo is all about. The Zippo click, right? Then people were like, eh, you know, we I, I want something traditional. And they thought, huh, what happens if we combine the two with a yellow flame? So it looks like the original. Yeah. Here it is here. See that? If you look at it, when you compare the two now, now you look and you go, well, that's, that's Mary's favorite, apparently. Mary, you going to let me do this? Now you compare the two here. Here's the Pizio. Let me get the original. Here's the original and the Pizio, okay, with the dual flame. You can see one has the wheel and this has the Pizio lighter. Well, they combine those two. Now they have this. And you look at that, you go, well, it's got the wheel. It's a regular zipper, right? It uses the the fuel. What did they change? Oh, look at the bottom. Yeah, butane. This is a butane lighter, but it's got the wheel. And now you have that more traditional zipper look. If I put it in the case like this, it sits in the case there just fine. Close, closes up, opens up. We're all good. We've got the click, we've got the wheel, but we don't have Zippo fuel. We have butane. And if you look at the this little button here, everybody thinks it's a Pizio. That controls the gas. Now, remember on the old one, to shut it off, you had to close the lid or shake the lighter or blow really hard on it to get it to work, to turn off. When you look at this now, as I turn the wheel, I'm going to press down on the, the gas. Look at that. It's a yellow flame. Woo. I need to turn that down a little bit. But look at that. Now you look and you think, well, that's a regular. It doesn't have that blue butane flame. And it's windproof. Ha! Huh. Now to turn the gas off, I let the button go. I don't have to. I can just and release that button when I'm done and then close it. We're all good. Evolution. Zippo obviously know what they're doing. <laughs> so like I said, we had the the good old original Zippo, right here. Okay. Where you had the wheel and you used your Zippo gas and everybody loved it except they had an issue with the fuel. It would leak out. So you had to have fuel all the time. And the way I thought to get about it was Zippo came out with this guy. and carry some extra fuel. Great idea. But it wasn't enough. And I think Zippo realized that. So they thought, well, why don't we go to butane? Well, that's what they did. So they came out with the butane guy, which was great. But a lot of the traditional Zippo users were like, well, that's not a Zippo. Uh, you know, that's just a... Another butane lighter. Who cares about that, right? Um, and they came out with this guy. And people went, well, well, that's just a regular Zippo. No, no, no. This doesn't use the Zippo fuel. This uses butane. Pretty smart. So here it is here. And it's just an insert. You buy it as an insert and you put it into your regular Zippo. This is the mat, Zippo mat case. Put it in there and you're good to go. You've got everything Zippo about it. The only difference being is 
you're using butane, they recommend zippobutane or ronson because they own ronson. And you've got the zippo clip, the zippo click, and you've got better control. I can stop it. I can restart it. I can stop it. And it works just like any other zipper insert, except butane. <coughs> and having thought about that, I'm going to turn the flame down a bit. I want to make sure it actually gets good control. So let's look at it. So like I said, you, you've got the good old fashioned flint and the wheel, but the, the fuel you're using is different. It's, it's, it's butane. And you control it with this button. Otherwise, everything is the same. You've got the same stuff in there for the, the regular butane lighters that they came out with. And, you know, you control them the same way. I'm using my little container I bought, which <laughs> is going to become obsolete for me until I get another one, right? Just turn this down a bit here using the fancy screwdriver. Quite a lot of control on this. Okay, I'm gonna say that's good. And there you go. You still have that zippo clicky. So here's what they say about this. This they call the zippo butane lighter insert yellow flame. And that's the big thing. Nobody wants to see that blue gassy flame. Everyone's like, oh, you know, the, uh, that's butane. Well, you come out and you go, I can tell you that most people you use to light something for them and you do that, they're not even going to realize you're using butane. The other big thing is you can't smell it. You always had that gassy zippo gas smell, the fuel, the lighter fuel. It's a very distinctive smell, but yep. you're getting that same tradition of zippo. Now, one thing they did say was that uh, the insert for this fits into all the standard ones. Now, they do have other styles that it doesn't fit. I can't remember what they are. I think they say it fits all classic Zippo lighter cases. So this is a classic. But they do say it doesn't fit. They have a slim and they have an armor or 1935 replica cases. So there you go. Very nice. I will be carrying this in my Zippo pouch. On my belt. As part of my EDC. Uh, Zippo. This guy here. Very nice. Zippo butane lighter. So what do they call it? The Zippo Butane Lighter Insert. Yellow Flame. That's the difference. And if you look at it, huh, looks like a Zippo to me. Just saying. Don't forget now. Like, share, subscribe. You know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back. I don't think Zippo's got anything else they're going to catch me on. But this... I really like. Great idea. And as far as I'm concerned, that just shows you that they're on top of things. How do you keep up with technology without chasing away your tradition? Right there. What can I say? You will be safe out there, especially with your sharp and shinies. Or when you're making fire. Just saying. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.